What's up everybody, welcome to another music making quick tip tutorial video. I am Clormo. Today I'm going to be talking to you about studio instruments which are part of Logic Pro X 10.4 update. And the purpose of the studio instruments right now there's only two. Horns and strings, hopefully with future updates we get different ones. I'm at least very excited to the possibilities that could bring. But with those two, I think it's a pretty good starting point. The purpose of them, as I was trying to say, is to contain really um, in just one place, in one neat package, different options for a whole um, selection of, of instruments, which in this case, like we, there's many horn instruments out there, many uh, string instruments, and they're just into this one uh, mini instrument as opposed to before, like with jam packs, you would have a bunch of strings, but they would be, uh, you would have the different articulations separately, different sections separately, or just detailed instruments separately. And now you don't really need to put different tracks for each of them. You can just have one play along with each of them and in turn, the purpose is to try to get you to sound as close as possible to a real instrument just using a software instrument. But I'm gonna take you inside Logic so we can see that. I just have the two tracks with both of the variants just to, to show you. Let me just show you the real quick how the interface looks like. It's the same for both. I'm gonna go to the strings. So kind of a side-by-side -side look. It's it's really pretty much the same thing. So I'm just gonna concentrate on the on the horns for a second. And the two main things that you need to worry about or that you need to practice and learn are the articulation, how to how that works, what it what does that do, and how you can control it. I'm gonna tell you in the end a little trick that you can go ahead and experiment a little bit on your own and then the main window, which is the pre preset window, where you can choose from single instruments or sections. So if you choose a section, the controls don't really change. Nothing here changes. And these are very self-explanatory controls. Like we have your typical volume attack release. Then you have a vibrato filter effect. You have an, a humanized effect. This is really self-explanatory just trying to give it more realistic sounding or realistic options but like i was saying in the past you couldn't really do any of this you had to either for example if you wanted a section there would probably be a, a, an instrument on its own called rmb section you will have a track with that and then you could play in sustain mode more than likely and you couldn't really go and differentiate from the three instruments or how many instruments are in the section as you were playing your keyboard. Now, here in this um, studio instrument for the horns, you can actually play uh, with uh, chords and the auto boy split option is gonna let you separate that those chords into the different voices or instruments so you could have like this all these instruments playing at once or you can actually discriminate between uh, the different instruments and as you go along and build your MIDI or your your, your MIDI region then you're gonna have that uh, variance in there between the instruments which is pretty neat and you can also obviously choose a particular instrument and do the same thing. You're gonna play notes. The kicker here is that not only can you just choose from all of these on the list and instead of putting different tracks, but the articulations are right here as well. So in essence, you have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, for example, for the trumpet, plus four different trumpets. So you're having nine times four of those instruments contain inside this same uh, plugging. And as I was saying just a minute ago, the MIDI region can actually go from one type of 
articulation on one node to the next in the same BD region. I don't know if you necessarily want that, but you can probably play it there and keep it, you know, more organized and then later uh, expand it via MIDI notes or something like that if you want to separate it and then uh, for your mix, right? So I'm just going to, I'm going to play a few of these modes real quick in a second so that um, you see what I mean by this. And I kind of went over these uh, controls here, but I don't, I want to keep this video short, so I'm not going to do much here. Then you have all the parameters here. The only one that I'm going to expand a little bit on is this dynamics via con your controller. So if it's on, then uh, you in conjunction with the extended parameters, which are down here, then you can uh, choose which controller in your MIDI or which control in any other piece of hardware that you may have. It's gonna control how soft or loud your instrument's gonna sound. So all of that, again, contained right in the same plugin. So let me just play a few things here, a few notes with, from the different articulations. So you have sustain, which is pretty standard. All right, I'm gonna turn off the dynamics because I don't want to press the the keys too hard. So the staccato, passionate. <laughs> then you have the growl, the chic. And same with the strings. So if if I bring the strings and I say this is a little bit of scoop slow. Or I can go with a crescendo fast or a slower crescendo or a thrill. Trill, I should say. There's no H there. Or glissando. So that gives you a very good idea of all the possibilities that you have by just incorporating this. And again, I hope that this is just a sign of things to come and that in the near future, Logic updates will start to include more studio instruments or, you know, so you, that you have possibly groups of guitars, which I, I love guitars or, or keyboards or other synths that would make sense to have a group so that you just just go all out and then like i was saying just to close the video um if you want to get experimental with um with a few things do the following if you want to like see how you can um, assign controllers from your keyboard like notes to change articulations on the fly live and make it sound more realistic go into your track settings go into articulation set and then to create a new articulation set go to new you're gonna get this window and what you want to do is go to switches so the switches tab you can add a new switch control right and then say let's say for example note on which means that when i press a note it's gonna switch that articulation and then i can choose which note is gonna be the switch I can choose the parameters. They can go from zero to whatever. And then what mode I want that to be. I can about, you know, put more details on this later, but then you're gonna choose your actual articulation and so on and so forth. You can set a list of them. And then where do you see them just to confirm, just go to the smart controls and you're gonna have this tab called key switches. And there's where you're gonna um confirm that it should have seen here my uh i'm gonna edit that yeah it's in c2 growl maybe i shouldn't have said those but anyway you sh i should have seen it here in my uh c2 that growl and i could have pressed it there and so on and so forth you can set different notes you could potentially use your mouse and press them as you're playing with your other hand on your keyboard and change on the fly the different articulation but that probably will be a little bit difficult if it's assigned to a note pressing the note itself is just going to change it so 
you know that's in my opinion very powerful so i'm just gonna cut the video right here if you like this please support me by subscribing to my youtube channel clormo if you want to stay up to date with everything else that i'm doing www.clormoindustries.com i hope to see you there sometime i'll see you next week peace out people